Good morning, dear students. Dear students, today we are going to study a very important and interesting topic in mathematics of class seven, that is integers. To know integers, we should know first natural numbers and whole numbers. Let us know what are natural numbers. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are nothing but the counting numbers. The numbers which we are going to use to count are called natural numbers. Is it right? The counting numbers. The counting numbers. Are called natural numbers. Okay, the natural numbers start from one, two, three, five. So, which is the smallest natural number? Smallest natural number is one, and there is no largest natural number because there are infinite natural numbers. Natural number has a bigger set which consists infinite natural numbers. So natural numbers are nothing but the counting numbers. And these natural numbers are represented by the capital letter M. Yeah. Here, yeah. next, whole numbers. Whole numbers. Whole numbers are the collection of natural numbers along with zero. The collection of natural numbers with zero. That means whole number. Consist of all the natural numbers zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Whole number starts from zero. So like this, it proceeds one, two, three, four, five, six. So many whole numbers are there. There are infinite whole numbers. You understand? Whole numbers consist. All the natural numbers. Along with that, zero into them. Clear? Next. What are these integers? Integers. Integers. Integers are the collection of whole numbers and Negative numbers, the collection of collection of whole numbers and negative numbers are called integers, and these integers are represented by the letter. I or Z. Integers are represented by the letter I or Z. So how how these numbers can be write? So as we know, it's a collection of whole numbers. Whole numbers start from zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Along with that. Negative numbers are there. We write negative numbers to the left of zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. So from zero, we can observe here. From zero, these are all the whole numbers. These are all whole numbers, and these are all. Negative numbers. 
negative numbers. This integer fact does not contain fractions. Fractions and decimals. Integers does not contain fraction and decimals. Consist of whole numbers. Whole numbers include natural number also. Therefore, integers contain both natural number as well as whole number along with that negative numbers. Right? So we can show these integers on the number line. So how to write number line?
5 pH. If I tell you to make this uh, numbers to write in ascending order, ascending order. Ascending order. What are the integers I have understood? If we write in ascending order, we are going to know. So, what is meant by ascending order? Ascending order means writing the numbers from smaller to larger. Right? Okay. Which is the smaller one here that we have to know here? When we have Positive and negative numbers, we have to think about it. Okay, so see here when we move from left to the right, on the other hand, left to the right, we will get ascending order. We will get ascending order. That means minus 4, we write first, after that, we we'll write 1, after that, we we'll write 5. After that, you will write yet. Okay? This is the ascending order. So, minus 4 is smaller than 1. 1 is smaller than 5. 5 is smaller than 8. So, from smaller to, I have written from smaller to a bigger value. That means this order is in ascending order. So, how to write? The descending order of these integers. Descending order. Descending order. So what do you have to write? A we have to write first. A after 5. 5 after 1. Band minus two. Okay. Larger number among these numbers, larger number is eight. After that, five will come. After that, one will come. After that, minus four will come. Here, we can observe that from left to the right, on the other line, if you move from left to the right, we get sending order. Right? If you move from Right to left, we get descending order. If the number line is there, we can write easily ascending order as well as descending order. If there is no number line, then we have to know how to write the ascending order and descending order. Let's see how to write the ascending order and descending order without number line. Because only when negative numbers are given, we have to. 
starts with the the number looking like larger, but that is not larger. Looking like larger. So which is the larger looking number here? Forty minus forty. It looks like larger, but it is not a larger number among this number. It is very lesser number. So minus forty will come because since it has a minus sign, it has a uh, very least number among this number. Ascending order means first we have to write the smallest one after that. Next number after that. Next number we have to write minus forty after which number we have to write. Minus twenty, right? After that, minus five. After that, minus four. Minus three. Did you understand? See, this is the smaller number, right? This is the next coming number. Minus twenty, minus five, minus four, minus three. Now you imagine. The number line. We can imagine the number line. Here, zero will come. Minus one, minus two like this. Minus three, minus four. Just imagine the number line. Ascending order means we have to move from left to the right. Okay. Minus forty will start from left side. Left side minus forty. After if we move to the right side. Minus twenty will come. Is it not? After that, minus five will come. After that, minus four will come. After that, minus three will come. Like this, we have to write the ascending order. Did you understand? Integers will be negative forty by one left. No left mark la minus forty. Dot 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 dot. Since it has a minus sign, it is very lesser number. So after that, we have a negative. Sign in twenty, so minus five, minus four, minus three. Let's see one more example. See in this example, all the integers are. Positive. All the integers are positive. In the first case, we have all the integers are negative. But in this case, all the integers are positive. Positive means we have to write ascending order, right? Ascending order. Ascending order. So which is the least number? Two. After that, three. After that, six. Seven, fifteen. Ascending order means the smaller number is the bigger number is the other. So positive numbers mark the fifteen there. Smaller number more than the other. Can't I then to to it sir? Because all the integers are positive. Positive is the other. No matter more than the other. Chicken number can't I? Why can't I do that? Why not? 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 Four. After that, six, seven, fifteen. If I descending order, what will happen? Reverse order will happen. Fifteen will be there. I'm at seven. I'm at six. I'm at three. I'm at two. What are you doing? So in first case, we have all the values are negative. In second case, we have all the values are positive. Let's see in third case. So here the integers are mixed together, positive as well as negative. We have to write the ascending order. Ascending order. Which number we have to write first? Smaller number we have to write. In this case, both positive and negative integers are given. First, you have to write. I am writing about ascending order. First, you have to write. The negative values. Keep in your mind. 
for ascending order, first you have to write the negative numbers because the negative numbers value are very small than positive numbers, right? So ascending order means first we have to write the negative numbers. In that negative numbers, we have to search for a smaller number. Minus nine is smaller than all other negative values. So therefore. Minus nine we will write first. After that, minus six we will write first. After that, minus four we will write. So negative integers are four. So what about the positive integers? Lesser number we will write, right? One, two, seven. This is the ascending order of the integer. When both positive and negative integers are given, you can understand. Clearly, negative numbers and positive numbers mix up after the data. Ascending order will be given. Negative square will be given. If there is positive value, then the negative square will be given. If the number is more than half the number, then the value will be given. So minus nine, minus six, how much? Minus six. Minus four is the same. Minus four is the same. Minus six is just the same. Okay? This is negative number. Reverse order. One, since it has a positive sign, as the number looks like one is smaller, we have to write smaller number because it is ascending order. This is one, two, seven. So this is the ascending order. Right? If they were asked to provide the given integers in descending order, descending order. For example, sixteen, four, two, three, five, seven. Descending means what? From larger to smaller, right? Descending order. Pretty descending order. What is it? Larger number in the smaller number in the top of the book. So which is the larger number here? Sixteen. Sixteen after which number we have right? Seven. Here. Yeah? Number line number is put it. Sixteen. Right side of the number. Yeah, the position is there. Descending order is there. Now left side of the number. So seven side of the number. Right side of the number. Sixteen is the third side of the number. Right? Sixteen. Sixteen after seven. Seven after we have five. After we have three. After that two. Right? Sixteen. Seven, five, four. We left from four, three, two. Right. So this is how to write the descending order. When the positive integers are given, if suppose negative integers are given, how to write the descending order? Minus four, zero. Two, three, minus nine, minus eleven. Right? Descending order we are writing. Descending order. Descending one, descending means bigger one. Among all these, which is the bigger one? Is this zero? Yes, all the values are negative. That includes zero also. That means zero is a big number. After that, we have to write which number? Bigger one we have to write because descending order we are we are writing in negative numbers. The number looks like smaller. The number looks like smaller. For example, minus hundred. And 
minus two. ये वेरिएबल इंटीजर ले यार नंबर लार्जर होंगे minus two लार्जर minus हंड्रेड हो लार्जर कौन है ये तो चिक नंबर है so therefore descending arrow means from bigger to smaller zero of the this number we have right minus two right minus two इधर नहीं है तो यार यार नंबर से तो वर्ड नंबर zero आप में after that minus three after that Minus nine, minus four is there, no? Minus four, minus nine, minus eleven. Here, yeah. since it has zero, zero will be right first. After that, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus nine, minus eleven. We can observe that the value goes on. Decreasing, the value goes on decreasing. Minus two is greater than minus three. Minus three is greater than minus four. Minus four is greater than minus nine. Minus nine is greater than minus eleven. You understand? This is how we have to write the descending order when positive integers are given in the first case, when negative integers are given in this case. Let's see when positive and negative integers together are given. How to write the descending order? Okay, these are some numbers which contains positive integers and negative integers. Which order we are writing? Descending order. Descending order. In ascending order, order, I told you that to write when the negative integers and positive integers, positive means the negative for the data. Ascending order, by the way, means the negative values must be there, right? But here we are writing. Descending order. How to write? Descending order can be written. First, we have to write the positive values. First, we have to write the positive values. In the positive values, we have to write. I will make this six as sixty. Okay, six repeated two times. Okay. First, this is a positive value. This is also a positive value. This is also a positive value. So it's a positive value. Since we are writing descending order, first we have to write the positive values. Among those positive values, which is the bigger one, 16. After that, 6 will come. After that, 3 will come. After that, 2. Now positive integers are over. We have to write the negative integers. In that integer, we have to find out the larger one. This is the larger one here. Minus one. After that, minus four. After that, minus nineteen. This is how we have to write the descending order in case of positive integers and negative integers together the given. Okay. Dear students, up to here we have studied how to write the descending order and ascending of the order of the integers. And what are the integers, and how the integers can be written in the form of a representation of a line? 